girls back to back county intermediate football champions sounds good it does uh, it's kind of questionable though when you say intermediate back to back um, I don't think many people can say that they won an intermediate championship back to back so I think it's something that we hold on to forever um, but I'm, I'm sure now after last year the prize this year is to actually get up senior and that's a huge thing absolutely um, like uh, you were, Jack was asking me during the week like was there pressure on us to come back and you know win the title this year and I'd said initially there was in the first round and Ula gave it to us in that first round and we knew that today they were going to give it to us just as much like you know um, we beat them by three points on the day in the round game beat them by three points this evening so um, to be honest I think we both just improved so much like and that was a very very physical game very tough game it was a very yeah. tentative game wasn't it it was the final quarter maybe before it really opened up yeah, I think Anya will testify for that now. Um, um, she's in the thick of it. The last quarter, even the last time we played Ula, it was the exact same. Like, you know, it was never easy, but in the end, we pulled away with it, luckily. But thanks to the girls, like, and Eve, they were working so hard at the back. The bats had such a tough game on them, but we got through in the end. So. Not to mention she was pulled and dragged all day long, like you saw her. Like, she's an absolute dynamite inside. Um, so very, very tough game, yeah. Just after half time, I suppose, that was Ula's purple patch and you just had to, you were down to 14 as well for a few minutes. You had to dig in and just hold your own for a while. Um, yeah, it was just so tough. Like, we all had to work extra hard, but in the end we done it and we're here. We're yeah. county champs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just think, like, even Sarah, like, losing Sarah, what, in the purple patch that Ula had, we, we had to push on and... I think that's a testament to the players that we have there today that we could push on with 14, you know, we just and we, we really took advantage hard, yeah. of it. Like, yeah, we had to take advantage of what we had and, you know, deal with the situation at hand. What did important. you say at that, that second half water break? You know, the, the game was very much in the melting pot in, you know, going into the final it's, quarter. It's funny, we prepare for that, we prepare for that situation. Um, we often play games where it's 15 board. 15 v 14 at home like the players that we have today with 43 on the panel like and we're so lucky this year we've got two panels it's the first time we've actually entered two adult teams so we have junior b's and um the intermediate squad like and i mean we've we've got the grounds for that at home and we really have trained for that situation you know so it was a case of keep the heads and keep doing what we're doing really Sports yeah for you and even you've been here before but it's a big family affair as well yeah like huge family affair um and even the Cunninghams, like you can see the Cunningham, if you see the McCarthy name, the Cunningham name, the Sheehan name, like we really are a family, like, and putting a few together. Um, it's just a huge occasion, like, uh, for all of us, like, and you can imagine the house at home, like, is just, just crazy. Um, but, like, we sit down every evening and we analyse games, like, there's no tomorrow, and we have the girls over and everything, like, so we're looking forward to the Munster Championship. I'm sure we'll sit down on Tuesday night and we'll watch this game and we'd have to correct the errors that we had there today. It wasn't a perfect game on our, on our behalf whatsoever, um, so we'd have to push on again. No, and yeah, for you, I suppose, not too much time for celebrating a no. county camogie final next weekend. Yeah, no, we'll go out and have a few, but we'll have to prepare it in tomorrow <laughs> for next week. But look, we'll celebrate tonight now and we'll look on after that. So hopefully we'll be back here again next week yeah. celebrating, but we'll only have to wait and see. One thing watching the game, girls, you're very organised. Does that just come down to the trainings you're doing? Um, it's yeah, drilled into us. Like the first time we played Ula, that was our first game together, and like you know, in a full year, literally 365 days. Yeah, our first game, yeah. and then I think after that we just worked so well together. Like their kickouts and all, like we just pressed so hard, and just it kind of came for that. It came from that then. Yeah, we we know what we're doing, <laughs> you know. And to be fair to Ula, they knew what we were doing too, and they came at us, and their their game plan was very very strong. It's a tough game to play, what they're playing. And they're as fit as fiddles, like they're up and down that part, like there's no tomorrow. So fair play to them as well. 